adorable penguins made with Oreos. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. 12. Hello, everyone. These little penguins are sitting on little ice floes. They are made out of a very simple sugar cookie recipe I've used several times on my channel. I will provide the recipe ingredients and the instructions in the description box below. You could also use store-bought sugar cookie dough for this or any sugar cookie recipe you want. So once the sugar cookie dough was done, I rolled it out between sheets of parchment paper and then I needed ice flow shapes. Now, I didn't have any cookie cutters like that, so I made my own. Making your own cookie cutters is super simple. I will put a link in the description box below this video where you can check out a video of how to make your own cookie cutters. So what I did is I just cut out a whole bunch of these simple shapes and then I took the whole sheet of parchment paper, put it on a cookie sheet and put it in the refrigerator to chill. It just makes it a lot easier to take the cookies off the cookie sheet to put them onto your baking sheet. So there they are nicely chilled and as you'll see as I peel this off, You'll see how easily those cookies come out once they're cut out. And you put them on a cookie sheet and bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees until they're just lightly browned on the bottom. Now the ice floes are covered with some blue ice. And to make this, I whipped up a batch of Royal Frosting, which is three tablespoons of meringue powder, four cups of powdered sugar, and about six tablespoons of warm water. And what you're gonna do is keep adding more warm water until you get the texture that you want. I added a little bit of blue food coloring to that to get it the blue that I wanted. And then I put it in a piping bag with a writing tip. And then I just went around the edge of the cookie first and then I filled it in. And then all you have to do is just gently tap the cookie on the counter and the icing will smooth out and fill in any of those gaps. Now you wanna make sure your royal frosting is liquid enough so that it flows onto your cookie, but not so liquid as it falls right off, leaks right off. That little, those little flakes on there, those are that's actually edible glitter. So I added some edible glitter to make it look like snow. Now for the actual penguin, super simple, that's white chocolate inside of a Ziploc bag that with the corner cut off and you just pipe on kind of a heart shape with a rounded bottom to it. Make sure you've got lots of cookie on the top and around the edges for the other parts of the penguin. Gently tap that until it smooths out, and then you're gonna allow that to harden in the refrigerator or at room temperature. Now for the little flippers, you'll need just one part of an Oreo cookie. What I did is I broke the cookie in half, and then in half again, and then I used a clean pair of kitchen scissors, and I just trimmed off enough to make it look like a flipper shape. So you'll have one flat side, and then you're gonna try to make it curve around to a pointy end to make it look like a flipper as you'll see in just a moment. This is a little bit messy, but if you do them all at once, it's not so bad. Now, basically you're gonna assemble your penguin. I used two dots of black frosting for the eyes, one dot of orange frosting for the nose, again, using a writing tip. And then for the little feet, I used a smaller writing tip with a little bit more orange frosting. And because this penguin is kind of sitting down, his feet are kind of in front of him like that. Now to attach the wings, we're just going to put a little dab of melted white chocolate or candy melt and then just attach the wings on either side. And then just allow this to harden before you move them around. Now to attach your penguin to your ice floe, there's, you can do a couple different things. You can just use some little bit of white chocolate and attach it to the cookie once the ice floe frosting has dried. Or you can attach it while the frosting on the ice floe is mostly dry but has just a little bit of give to it. So I let mine sit until the frosting was dry to the touch on the top, but if you press down, you could still make a little indentation. And I just pressed the little penguins right into the frosting. And there they are, these are super cute. I thought these would be awesome for a child's birthday party. You could do a bunch of little penguins and on, you just make a few extra little ice flows and you can even put the child's name or child's age on those. If you love penguins, maybe you can check out this penguin cupcake that I did a few years ago. Thanks for watching.